Now, after learning the concept of block and insert, here uh, next we will be learning about creation of blocks and inserting them in the project. Now, for this, I open a new file. Uh, when I open a new file, so I go to the uh, application menu and I say new file and uh, I have a new drawing. Now, uh, first of all, you need to understand that uh, in which particular unit system you're going to create the block. Either you're going to create in the imperial system or the matrix system. So let's say uh, for demonstration purpose, I would be using both the systems of uh, the unit to create the blocks. So another question would be, do we need to create the block prior to the project uh, or uh, while we are working on a plan or elevation, we have to create the block? The answer is, it is suggested that the all the blocks that you need to create uh, would should be done prior to the project or you can uh, have to select the blocks that you want to have it in the project so that you can save more time. Now, for example, I take an uh, imperial feet and inches. So now the first thing that while I create a block, I need to have a sketch. And uh, now here I set the unit as usual. So I set the unit as engineering over here. And then I say you need to scale inserted content. This is very important. This is where basically the blocks come into play. So we will be discussing it in the later case. But here the precision, I want to put it at zero feet, zero inches. Now, once I set the unit to engineering, that means I would be working in feet inches and I would like to set my limits. So here for this creation, I would set my limits to, let's say, uh, 20 feet, comma, 20 feet. And then I would say zoom, enter all. Now, another thing that I would uh, like to uh, share over here is the layers. It is very important that uh, you should know about in which layer you are creating the block. It is very, very important. Further, later on, you can change the layer uh, into uh, object into different layers, but it is suggested that you should have a layer in which the block uh, has to be created. For example, I want to create a door block. So here the case is I want to create a door block, which is... Uh, I'm using an imperial system. So here I would like to have, so what are the parts of the door? So door would be having a panel, it would be having a frame and it would be having a, a swing. So in the plan. So I, I will teach you how to create a panel, how to create the swing and the door symbol that I'm going to use, right? Here, uh, so for the, this, I would like to have a, a layer. So I can create uh, numerous layers like door frame or I can create a door uh, swing or something kind of that. But here I am taking a one particular layer name as door whose color I am going to put it here right now at let's say I take a brighter color over here, right? So I make it current. I want to use this layer uh, to insert the, uh, you know, to uh, for the, it's a brighter color and I'm keeping it. That is a color 11 that I am taking for the door and close it. Now, let's say what is the method of creating the block. So there are various methods. I would be using my own method. So for that, I take a line, let's say, uh, for example, uh, the door opening. So I take an ortho on is uh, which consists of, let's say, I have a door opening of three feet, three inches. So here I have a three feet, three inches line in which I am going to have uh, the door uh, frames at both the sides. This is a threshold plan that I'm going to create. So let's say I take a rectangle for the frame. Let's say the frame is uh three inches in x and let's say 1.5 inches in y so uh okay so i'm going to rotate this because uh, i rotate this okay so three it would be one and 1.5 inches in x and three inches in y so this is a frame so i place this frame at the center point over here and uh, i can do a trim command over here so let's not do the trim command first First of all, let me mirror this particular over here so that I have another frame uh, so that I can put two frames at both the sides. So I do a mirror command and uh, here I go and uh, so I say no. So now uh, uh, what I need to do is I need to create a, a door panel. So this is the frame of the door that I'm going to use in the block. Uh, and then this is, uh, there would be a frame. So let's say I can have a frame, let's say with a hinge, I would take it down 0.5 inches over here and um, or lesser than that, let's say I take a 0.1 inches kind of uh, uh, hinge and here, let's say I create a line right away. So what would be the uh, panel thickness? So here I have the panel thickness 
let's say around quarter inches let's say a panel thickness I have a quarter inches or lesser than that let's say it would be around half inches let's say panel that I'm going to have for the door so I have this so and then I do an extend command over here right so here also because since there is a the door is hinged over here so I take a one circle from here at this particular point and uh, put it down at this midpoint so this is the swing of the door that would be showing the how the door will be swinged and then I take a trim command so I do a trim command here so now you can see that uh, how I can um, create the swings so I have uh, what I have done is I have trimmed it and created the swing over here now this is basically the door which is uh, let's say if I do a measure over here so this door measures around uh, let's say uh, 3 feet 3 inches in opening so the panel size would be somewhat um, uh, 3 inches less that's the 3 feet so here I want to create it as a block so this is one thing that you need to make sure that you have this object over here and you want to use this object uh, that is a single door panel that is uh, in my drawing of 3 feet 3 inches size so now you go for a block and then you have to name it let's say I have a name door so this is what a single panel door a single swing door and let's say if I give the name uh, you know the size at 3 feet 3 inches so 3 feet 3 inches is something that the opening size that I have made including the frame over here so now here once you give the name over here then you should basically pick a point now this is a base point pick a point means this is the point from where you're going to insert while you're in the drawing so this is very very important to specify so here i am picking the point as the, uh, as the because if, uh, the swing is on the left so i'm putting this midpoint as the pick point the moment i do the, the pick point then i have to select the object so select the object that you want to create the block press enter so now a preview will be uh, displayed over here now you have done that the moment you have picked the point you can see the coordinates are over here and the other thing is that you have to look into it what are the units that you're going to basically define for this block for this particular block I am defining the inches as a unit so this is the area where you define the base point so I had another option as specify on screen that I would be telling you uh, uh, in the next uh, demonstration when we should use the specify on screen but we have picked the point for the insertion point for the block next is basically hyperlink so if you want to have a hyperlink if you want to give some uh, link to the uh, block or you want to give a website link or something so you can always have the uh, hyperlink option that we will discuss it when we'll be doing more blocks then the select object now, the moment you select the object so you uh, you know this is the screen over here and then there is an option over here quick select so uh, quick select is another method of selecting an object but we are doing it by window selection so now you can see that there are three options that means when you are creating the uh, block from the object that you have created so you can retain uh, if you use select the retain button over here you can retain the uh, object without creating it a block so it, it would remain as a block so when it will be converted to a block it will be a single entity so you would see how the difference would be if you select a retain option or a convert to block second is the convert to block that means the object itself will be converted to a block and it will be saved in the file and then the other option is delete that means once you select this object the object uh, will have a block and it will be saved in the computer but the object will be deleted from the screen so there are three options what you want to do with the selected object so i would say i would convert to block the other thing is that you want to make it annotative or not so if you want to make it annotative that means it will have an annotative um, function uh, when you are using an annotative scale so you can make it annotative for the time being i'm not making it annotative second is uh, two important 
uh, thing when you're creating a block you are basically telling uh, cat that i want to uh, scale it uniformly that means i cannot have the function of scaling ununiformly that means i cannot make it uh, uh, size in different size in x and different size in y so that is ununiform scaling because in inserting you have got scale option and the other thing is that uh, allow exploding if you select this checkbox the, when you insert the block the block will be exploded and it will uh, be become a normal drawing so if you select this that means you can allow exploding uh, of the block or if you don't select this the block won't be exploded so we'll be seeing what would be the uh, difference between it and the other thing is that very uh, you know this is hidden over here so it is open in block editor that means when once you uh, basically click uh, OK and it will open in the block editor for editing the blocks. I'm not selecting this checkbox right now. So let's press OK. The name contains unsupported characters. Now the important part is there are certain characters that you cannot use. Intentionally I have put them like for example if there is a dash over here. So if I say uh, 3 feet 3 inches. So 3 feet 3 inches. Now if I click into it now it says you know you cannot have this uh, spaces or something so so here what i would do it if i want to name the block so i would say door underscore single let's say three feet so if this is the thing now it has taken because there are certain characters that you cannot use it. so again you have to be very choosy of what the name you are giving to the block now let's say uh, the block now what happened to this object this object itself is now converted into a block now you can see that the block reference is this and if you select this object and go to its property so now you can see the grips are uh, available over here and if you go to the properties now you can see that uh, there are uh, different uh, the name rotation annotative block unit unit factor so this is something that is there it defines that it is a block okay now let's say if i have a wall opening over here so let me create a wall and i want to insert this particular door i'm erasing it so now i create another layer let's say wall layer so i go to the layer properties and i have something called wall so uh, let's say I have this wall, uh, let's say color red is fine. So make it current. Now to insert the doors, I would just have a part plan of uh, uh, showing the walls and then we will see how we can insert the doors in the plan, right? So let's first create a wall. So I have created a layer uh, for the wall. I make it current. So here, let's say I start with the line command and let's say start drawing a wall. So I have a 10 feet wall and then uh, I have another uh, 15 feet wall over here. Uh, so I draft some lines and let's say I have a 10 feet wall over here. So here I want to basically, these are the lines. So let me have an offset of nine inches uh, here. And uh, let's say I have an offset of nine inches over here. And then with the fillet, radius zero i am creating a fillet over here so to make sure let's make the dimension over here to see what is the dimension of the uh, object so then we will place some we'll place a door over here and we will place a door over here so there are two doors that will be in this particular uh, uh, drawing so i'm going to place the door uh, let's say nine inches uh, here from the edge over here and uh, the opening size of the door is three feet three inches uh, at this uh, place so i have this three feet three inches i just do a trim and uh, with this we will be learning how to insert the uh, i again have a nine inches offset over here three feet three inches uh, is the opening that i want to have so with this example we will be learning how to uh, insert uh, door and window using blocks so now remember we have created a block so if you go to the insert option so this is a single panel door with the left uh, hinged so now see so now when we have this insert command because that uh, that is the command that i am uh, will be using to insert a block 
Now there are options. Now you can see that uh, the explode option is disabled over here because of the settings that we have taken. Now here we have this option called the name of the block. So I select the name of the block and then I have this insertion point. So insertion point, if I specify on screen, then I won't be able to click it in a point. So there would be a particular uh, coordinates in which the object will be inserted. But for this purpose, I'm going to have it on the screen. So then the scale over here. Again, remember that I, when I created the block, it was uniform scale. So I can scale it only uniformly, giving one value and it will be scaled in X, Y and Z direction together. So again, option is either to give the scale from here or specify on the screen while inserting. Next is the rotation. So here uh, you can give the angle over here. Let's say you want to insert it and rotate the block in 90 degree from the base point or zero. Let's try with this and let's say we have this, uh, we are not going to specify on screen. So press OK. Now over here, you can see the moment uh, the I said OK. So it says specify insert, insertion point. Now you can see my cursor is attached to the insertion point that I have defined while defining the block. So here I'm going to insert it in at the midpoint of the door. Now you can see the door uh, is inserted over here. Now, if I want to uh, flip it, I want to have the opening in, uh, let's say the swing in this particular side, I can do a mirror command and do it. I'll see, tell you how. Similarly, I want to have the uh, insertion over here, insertion, and let's say I can do it with insert on screen and here. Now, the thing is that this is very easy since we are basically having a same size. Uh, then what will happen if I want different sizes? Then the answer is I have to create blocks as per the door window schedule, as per the door schedule. So I have to create different blocks as per the door schedule. That means types of door. In this case, it is a single panel. Somewhere it can be a double panel. Somewhere it can be a sliding door. So I have to create those blocks with different sizes and keep it in, in my file. Now, the other question you would be asking, uh, how I'm going to flip this? So the rotation, what is the rotation option? So if I insert the block over here, so let's say if I go for specify on screen so it will explain me better what is the rotation option so if i click on it so now if you look into it uh, it says specify insertion point go with the command line and then it asks you for the rotation angle now if you put the ortho off so you can have the uh, block inserted at different rotation angle so if i say okay fine if i want to have the rotation angle 90 so it will be rotate it from the insertion point. Now, if you select the block, uh, you can see the grip is displayed at the insertion point. Other thing is that while you are snapping, so you remember there was one option called insertion. So if you uh, clear all and say insertion, so the insertion point will be snapped. For example, this is the insertion point, this can be snapped. So you can snap this insertion point of the block by using the object snap uh, insertion option. Right. So now here, let's say if I want to uh, flip the block uh, at this particular point, can I rotate it by normal rotating? So if I normal rotate it, so I mean, the things will not work. So I need to do a mirror command over here. Let's say if I want to give the uh, opening swing inside. So I have a mirror command and then I do the, let's say two insertion point one here. And let's say the other at this particular. So this is not an insertion point, this is a midpoint. So I can go for the mid option and then say erase source object. I would say yes. Now you can see that it has been flipped inside. So this is how you can uh, create uh, the flipping of the doors uh, while you insert in the prop. <clears throat> okay. Other thing is that what is the scale option then? So the scale option is, let's say if you insert uh, block uh, and if you say scale is twice so this object will be scaled twice so again the rotation angle is specify on screen so if let's say if I go for insert and uh, if I say rotation angle is zero but uh, scale is something that I want to specify on screen or I want to give a value let's say two so if I insert the object would be inserted with twice the value uh, of the dimension both in x and y and if it would have been a 3d object it would be hand it would be in the z axis also so scale so you cannot do a non-uniform scaling because at the time of creation of the block you have selected the uniform scale 
so we'll be doing it uh, later on for different objects but for doors right now you have this particular option ready now what about uh, working in a metric system we will be doing in a metric system and uh, be doing similar kind of uh, repetition for a metric uh, door and now let's go with the uh, window option now the one way of creating a window now window is something that uh, it's basically in placed so if you want to place a window over here create a symbol so let's say if i want to create a window so uh, again now you can see that though the object over here which is inserted here is a single object it is controlled by the layer so if i put the door layer off it would be off so go to the layer and create another block called uh, another layer called window that you want to place so we'll be doing a uh, elevation for the door also and the elevation for the window also as a block and we will place in uh, in our drawing file so here basically we have the window uh, the plan view so let's let us give the color as magenta or right so make it current so we are going to create the window block uh, and uh, set current so let me erase this and let's say i want to create the window so let's say uh, the window will again be having a frame let's say i have a frame i create a rectangle let's say uh, it would be 1.5 comma 3 so then so this is and the size of the window let's say a single casement window that i want to create or double is let's say uh, 4 feet size so from the midpoint i have so i give the settings of the midpoint over here and let's say uh, it is 4 feet uh, here we have the four feet. Uh, it's a double panel. Let's say if I want to have four feet or let's say I want to have it a three feet kind of thing. So, okay, three feet is the panel size. And uh, then I have this, uh, I mirrored this so that I can have uh, the frame. So source object, no, right. Now here we will be having a glazing as well as we'll be having the uh, panels. So let's say the panel thickness is 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.25, uh, both the sides. So we'll be having a double line over here. So go for an offset, 0 0.25. Uh, let's say I have this here and I have this here. And the midline may be showing that it is a glazed. So you can have the mid midline as the glazed. So you can have this as a glazed. Uh, so the midline is the meeting line where the to, so it shows that this is a double panel casement window where uh, the mid is a uh, glazing part. It's a glazed part, glazed window. So if you want to uh, create this, so let's say, and the size is, let's see, check the dimension over here. And the width of the window is, let's say, you have to mark it as, let's say, from the end point to end point. And uh, the opening for the window is, let's say, here we have, it's three feet three inches so we have uh, 18 inches uh, panels so now how we are going to do it uh, so for example here what we do is we create a block and uh, name it as window uh, underscore double casement three feet three inches so here we have again it is not supported so you have to have uh, you know you have to look into it three feet okay so select the object so i select this object now here i would be picking the point uh, this midpoint over here and uh, i would be converting it into a block so now you uh, saw that i have removed the three inches we'll be renaming it later on how to rename the block so we'll also learn how to rename a block but this is a window a general block of a window uh, that uh, you can basically insert in your drawing area now let's say uh, i want to have the uh, i keep three feet three inches so three feet three inch 39 that is 19.5 uh, both the sides so there's an opening that uh, not an opening in fact uh, so 19.5 inches so approximately if i go with the size so as an offset and uh, let's say okay, here i go and uh, let me take the dimension it should be approximately three feet three inches so here uh, i hope uh, because i've kept this line because i want to 
uh, insert this at this particular point. So this is a block. So if you go to the property, it is a double casement three, three fit block. So I go for an insert command and uh, now here I would be going with the rotation option, which I'll be specifying on the screen. So I select this as the uh, base point where I'm going to put the window along with the frame and then I would be using the rotation angle. So here you have this, if I say 90 degree, so the rotation angle, the window will be placed over here. So in this case, uh, you know, uh, what I would suggest, this line is a wall line, not a window line. So you can always match the properties of the layer. Let's say this is a wall ending in which this particular uh, entity is the uh, glazing entity. So this is where you create a, a window in a uh, plan. So we will be also learning about different sizes of the doors. Now we'll be taking another plan. We'll be seeing how we can implement those sizes and different other entities like the chairs, tables, desks, how we can create a coffee table, how we can create a electrical fixture. So a lot of things, interesting things are coming over here. We'll be learning how to create them as well as how you can implement them in your uh, drawing. Okay.